In the red corner, he stands at 5 feet 9 inches tall and tips the scales officially at 123 pounds. He is fighting out of Liverpool, England and is representing Next Generation MMA. And this is his MMA debut. Please put your hands together for Tom Owen. Opposite him in the cage, in the blue corner, he stands at 5 feet 9 inches tall and tips the scales officially at 124.8 pounds. He is fighting out of Bolton, England and is representing Saul Rogers MMA. And this is also his MMA debut. Please make some noise for Lewis Mosso. And welcome back to our next bout here at Cage Warriors, the Academy Northwest. I'm Jamie the Haymaker Hey, here with Jay Furness. On to our next bout. Yeah, Tom Owen versus Lewis Morel. Owen straight in there looking for the clinch. Ooh, oh, and both exchanging. Morel landed the punches and a beautiful head kick for uh, Owen. Yeah, he's a great lead left foot, followed by that, that right head kick there. And he's just trying to use that, that power kick, isn't he, straight through? Marcel, for a, a rangier guy, does like to be in the pocket throwing the shots as well. And now the uh, array of spinning kicks are coming out. Big one to the body landed. A big, big uh, right on there, straight on the chin. Yeah. The young Sol Rogers Academy fighter. Yeah. Lewis Mar Marcel. Now Owen charging forward with the big punches. A nice left hook got through. And furious pace to start this fight. Yeah, that's, that's why Marcel was trying to use that push kick there, trying to slow the fight down a little bit. But it's not oh, worked. Beautiful head kick off the right hand from Listen. Owen. Tom Owen just pushing forward constantly, putting the pressure on Marcel. Oh, and some big shots. He almost got Dave Manade. He did indeed. Up against the cage now, though. This is where Marcel wants it to try and slow it down a bit, Jay. I don't blame him. Oh, and another good spinning back kick to the body. He hasn't quite found the mark to drop his man yet. And the flurries of punches from Owen, just reckless abandon, wades in. Yeah, furious flurries of punches coming from, uh, from Tom Owen there. Got Marcel up against the cage now. He can start landing knees, obviously, to the midsection now, not to the head in amateur MMA. And it's the first time there's a, either guy can take a breath and not be punched in the face. As I say that, a nice break from Marcel. And a beautiful left head kick there as well on the break. And he's uh, wearing the scars of battle a little bit. A couple of marks on his face already. He's eating a lot of shots from Owen. He has indeed, but let's see if oh, that's... Oh, good straight right on the way in. A lot of shots, not a, not a mass amount of power in them though, Jay. And I, that, that, I think that's why Marcel's not gone down as of yet because there's been so many punches landed. Good control there from the tie clinch. A good knee and then breaks with some solid punches. But like I say, Jamie, these guys are, are flyweights and, and young lads. I'm sure they will develop into the power. But at the moment, it means they can punch each other and stay standing. It does indeed. And it's been a fantastic start to this fight. Very enjoyable for us to watch and to call the action on, Jay. Well, a good take down there. Yeah, he timed that well, but he's got to be careful of the triangle. Doesn't want to let that right leg of Owen slip through. Yeah, he's trapped that, that knee off there beautifully, so Marcel's now going to try and pass. But uh, he's pushed that leg off, and he's very, very close there to, to try and lock up a triangle. Yeah, Owen aggressive on the feet and just as aggressive on the ground. As soon as he gets the opportunity, he's looking, sinking things from the bottom, triangles, arm bars, What's constantly you? working. Watch him try and roll through for that, that right arm of Marcel. He's looking to, to drag it off there. Very close to go for that arm bar. Marcel does the right thing. Pulls the elbow free and lands with it. Finishes with a, a couple of good shots from the top position. Oh, fantastic <laughs> well, first, first round. round there, Jay. Unreal. These two young lads have got some, uh, some energy in the tank there to go at that pace for the full three minutes. Yeah, the, uh, the pace was frantic from start to finish in that round. I mean... Tom Owen there was just, you know, pushing forward straight away, landed some fantastic shots. Caught, got caught with some big shots himself, though. You know, but uh, what an entertaining first round. Yeah, beautiful. So on like the replay, we can like see here now some good knees from the clinch with the rule change of uh, not allowing the, the knees to the head in amateur. That changed the game a little bit there because I think Tom Owen would have been, would have been landing some huge uh, used knees to the head there on, on, Marcel, on Marcel, but... 
Yeah, you saw the pressure that he had with the tie clinch, really snapping his opponent's head down and getting the power. Um, and then only being able to land to the body did seem to frustrate him a little bit, but you saw him break as well and land good shots on the break. Some good work from the clinch. I'm excited to see how this second round starts. I think we'll pretty much have the same, same again from Tom Owen. I think he'll push forward and start start with them, uh, them flurries of punches. I think Marcel needs to use that jab a little bit more and try and step off. There we go. As you say that, a nice stiff jab comes through the middle. It works well with his head kicks as well. Needs to set up behind the jab. Oh, oh. good uppercut as he stepped in. A little bit yeah. smarter work from Marcel at the start of the second. He was just yeah. getting drawn into the gunfights at the, in the first round. Tom Owen looking slightly tired here moving forward though with them punches. A bit more tiring shots that he's throwing. Oh, oh nice. lovely kick there with a slip. And he doesn't stop working at all. Oh, nice outside trip there for Marcel to get top position for the first time in this round. But Owen again straight away attacking from the bottom. Yeah, looking for a like, sort of reverse triangle there. Didn't quite have the arm in, so couldn't get it. Beautiful neon belly there from Marcel, though. Great position here to start throwing shots down, Jay. And over into the mount. The arms are up in there if he wants to take an arm or if he wants to try and stay there for the ground and pound. And something you see with a lot of the, the, the lower weights, that backdoor escape there yeah. from the mount. Don't Definitely. tend to see it with the heavier guys. But with the young lads like this, you know, it's a great, great little uh, escape to use where you push off the armpits and, and drop out the back door. Yeah, and as the levels go up, you don't tend to see it as well. Marcel could have dropped his weight a little bit lower there to try and deny him that escape, but he ended up back on top anyway. Not as good as the mount, but still on top and still um, eating up the time in this round, landing some shots. So nice, uh, nice kick there from the from the bottom. Nice up kick. He'll be very careful land, landing them precisely, haven't you, Jay? Yeah, and just. Dexterous there, he's got an escape, he looked like he was going to be underneath side control and he just flicks the legs up. Guillotine attempt there from Marcel. Yeah, that's a nice guillotine, there we go. There it is, he's finished it. Yeah, that, that went on extremely tight, it's very, very quickly. And uh, there was not much really that Tom Owen could do. You yeah, know. what a turnaround for Louis Marcel. He's lost the first round and then come out dominant in the second and snaps up a finish from almost nowhere. Yeah, it was some fantastic work there. I mean, you know, on the replay here, as you can see, it goes on extremely quick. As he pulls there, there's not much more that that, uh, that yeah, Tom Owen wanted. He didn't want to be in that fight at that point. I mean, from a, from the standing position, he could have he could have maybe done a little bit more. But with him being a, a debut fighter, it's always very tough, isn't it, to say that, Jay? Yeah, great stuff to take from this fight from both of these young fellas, though. Owen would have liked the win, but great fight anyway. Excellent second bout here at uh, Cage Warriors, the Academy Northwest. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 54 seconds of round number two, we bring you your winner by way of guillotine choke in the blue corner, Lewis Morsel. That's our round of applause for his opponent, Tom Owen.